In this presentation, we're going to look at some simple matrix manipulations. Now, this corresponds to exercise C5 from my worksheet, which is on my website. So, suppose we have a 4x4 matrix C, and those are all the values there, 2, 7, minus 5, 5, and so on. So, we have two little exercises there. First off, replace all the negative values of matrix C with 0. So, we have minus 5 there, we're going to have a 0 there instead minus 2 there, have a 0 there instead, and so on. And we're going to call this matrix C1. The reason for that is because I'm going to use these matrices later on, uh, C1 and C2, for different exercises. So you might as well save them. So uh, the replace all negative values of matrix C with the absolute values of those uh, numbers. So instead of having minus 2 there, we just have 2. Instead of having uh, minus 5 there, we just have 5. So very uncomplicated little uh, operation. So exercise one, replace all negative values with, of matrix C with zero. So what we're going to do is compare matrix C with uh, using the maximum value, maximum function, and we're going to compare it to uh, function uh, the value of zero. So I'm just going to bring up octave here, and I have C. That's our matrix C there. So the exercise here is maximum of C and 0. Oops. Now, just draw your attention there to the fact that everywhere we had a negative number in matrix C, now we have a 0. Okay, now uh, just as a remark, I'm going to save that as a matrix for later on. So essentially that's all we have to do, uh, matrix C and 0. Straightforward enough little exercise there. Now, what we're going to do is something similar there. Suppose we have a, a matrix and we want to, oops, uh, we want to uh, replace all the numbers with, um, let's bring it up there, replace all negative values with the absolute values of those uh, numbers. So essentially what we have, replace all the negative numbers with the positive equivalent. We're going to use the max function again. So we have C here, and what we're going to do is max of C and minus C, okay? That's the, that's the approach we're going to take. This is going to turn all the negative numbers into positive numbers and leave all the positive numbers there alone. So I'll let you have a look at there to, to sort of convince yourself of that, that, for example, minus 2 becomes 2, minus 3 becomes 3, minus 2 becomes 2. That's me looking at the second column there. And that is it. Now, so actually, just as a remark, I'm just going to save that as a uh, as C2 for later on. So there we have matrix C2. That ends our presentation. And we're going to use these values, uh, C1 and C2, in later exercises, these matrices. Okay, bye.